15 minutes to nine. Uh, we're going to be talking about how Monty Python brought two people to find love before nine o'clock. But Joe's got the headlines first. See So, uh, a chap from East Grinstead who set up a dating page on Facebook for Monty Python fans has succeeded in meeting a new girlfriend f through the site. John Wood was crowned the world's biggest Monty Python fan back in 2012. And uh, he spotted Gemma Harris from Salisbury when she signed up for the page and immediately asked her out. Let's hear how it went. Hello, John. Hi. Hello, Gemma. Hello. Hello. Uh, Gemma, you sound lovely. Oh, thank you. <laughs> there you are. Is that what you thought initially, John? Of course. Yeah. Uh, I mean, is it, is, it, is it right you actually set up the dating site <laughs> <laughs> joined in that doesn't seem <laughs> I did on uh, Facebook it's a Facebook group actually called Python-esque dating I, I see so anyone interested please um, join it, join so, up but, so, uh, so the uh, idea is is if you like Monty Python I like Monty Python and everybody else who gets in touch with this likes Monty Python therefore we're, we're going to be a match made in heaven well potentially uh, there's a whole group of people there and they can chat and get to know each other a little bit right it's, it's, so, um, so Gemma when he first got in touch what did you think um yeah, no, I thought it was very interesting because we always had the same interests and uh, we used to sort of talk for hours and hours and hours through Facebook and uh, I thought, oh, he's a bit of a right. <laughs> <laughs> and what was your first date? What did he t take you to? Um, well, the, the, the actual the first date was um, we went to the theatre to go and see Blythe Spirit. Ah, lovely. Uh, which was brilliant, yeah. And so not Monty Python at all? Well, no, well, no, it was... Monty Python, we went to the O2 shows as well. We went to four times to that as well Thank you. so yeah so, so uh john you are the uh, the world's biggest python fan uh, does Gemma know her python oh yes yes she's, she's very uh, she's amazing she knows um, she knows loads of stuff as well well let's oh, yeah. we're going to put you to a, to the test we've got three questions each for you oh. here <laughs> and we're going to see who, who gets on the best and what we're focusing on is we're we're focusing on a love story sketch from monty python from 1970, not too sure, 1973, maybe something mm -hmm. like that. And uh, we'll we'll ask you questions in turn. So, John, we're going to start off with you, okay? Okay. So, name the love story sketch. Oh, that's um, Princess. Um, I think it's Princess Lucky. It's all about the um, uh, drags around the right. dead rabbit and so on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got some of the details right there. It's the Happy Valley love song. Uh, love story sketch. So we we'll give you one point for that. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, Gemma, your question. Right. Okay. Um, have a listen to this. One day, while she was pulling Herman round the lawn, she suddenly fell in love with the most beautiful young man she had ever seen. Naturally, assuming him to be a prince. Well, luckily, he uh, was yeah. a prince. This so is... she looked him up in the observer's book of princes, the... well, yeah, learned his yeah. name, and went and yeah, introduced on. the subject Wait for the of question. Ah. And in what seemed like the twinkling of an eye, but was in fact a fortnight. They were on their way to her father's court to ask his permission to wed. Right, there you are. So okay. that's the whole story. That's the princess. Why did she pull Herman round the lawn, though? Um, was it a dead rabbit or something? Well, Herman is dead, yes. Yeah. So, so that's, that's why she's pulling him round. <laughs> right, OK, good. It's a point of peace. Okay. Um, John, can you sing the king's song when she went to sing him? Oh, see yeah. him? Um, the buckety leg boom woo, meek, meek, meek. That's frighteningly good, actually. <laughs> Two on to John. Gemma, your question. Uh, listen to this clip. Mm -hmm. Before I can give my permission, young man, I must set you a task which, if you succeed, will prove you worthy of my daughter's hand. Yes, sir, I accept. Good. Uh, what was the challenge, Gemma? Um, it was, I think it was eventually going to get him a packet of cigarettes from the shop. Oh, I, I know. No? Yeah, go on, John. <laughs> It's to jump out the highest tower armed only with his sword. <laughs> it's the right answer. Well done. Yes. But, Gemma, you're so kind of right, because that, that comes uh, yeah. later. Yeah. In fact, I have to say, that's uh, <laughs> that's your question, John. What was Walter's challenge? Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, by a pack of the Rothmans, which only get, he gets killed, so it only gets to show that smoking damages your health. Yeah, you, 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 you're, you're jumping oh, ahead. Sorry, my sorry. daughter. You must go to the highest tower. Oh, and you must, oh, go down to the town and get me 20 Rothmans. What, now? Now, oh, tomorrow morning. Right, OK. Uh, and this is how the story Yes. But just as he was approaching the castle, he was run over by a London bus, which only goes to show. And the moral of the story is... Right, OK, what's the moral of the story? Who's No, it's Gemma. Oh. oh, God, no, I don't know. <laughs> John, the moral is... Smoking damages your health. 
is the right... Now, look, Gemma, I hate to break this to you, but he's rather trounced you. Yes, he has, I'm afraid, yeah. But that just means he's probably a bigger anorak than you are. Maybe, yeah. Okay, well, we, we hope that it is a match made in heaven, that, that you don't get run over by a London bus or anything like that, Gemma. <laughs> and we wish you all... Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Uh, right. uh, there you are. That's a love found by Monty Python. And that's just about it for breakfast. Uh, we're back tomorrow from 6 till 9. I'll see you then. It's Danny Pie next.